Hey guys, Laura coming to you again from the beautiful Omni Hotel here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm back with one of my favorites. No. And no, I'm serious. I was I, I was down to the last minute yesterday talking to Sophia to get it to get it put together. John Schneider. I'm so glad to be here. I, Great to see you. You're so much fun to talk to. And <laughs> and, and, and I mean we have a lot look, we have a lot of fun. I've got the videos to prove how much fun we have interviewing and talking about stuff. But I have look, ever since Dances with the Stars and Was that, that not a trip? So through that whole thing I was so cheering you on and sharing and calling and voting and I never vote. I don't ever do that. Well thank you for but voting I was for me. Voting I appreciate and it. I just had this it it was like some people would say, oh, well, he doesn't need to be there. Or same thing that they were doing to Bobby. You know, it's like Bobby shouldn't have won. Well, why not? You know, I mean, I don't understand that. But like, <laughs> away from the controversy here. Um, but I've wanted to talk, like, I've wanted to talk to you since. I know I'm not saying Bobby shouldn't have won. I'm okay. No, 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 I, no. I mean, I think it Bobby is saying Bobby shouldn't have won. But Bobby is saying that. Well, but, yeah. You, you know, there was nobody I, more, so, other than maybe Sharna. <laughs> There was nobody more surprised <laughs> than Bobby, because it was like, what? He was surprised. I was there a lot, and yeah. he was surprised he was there every week. He, I mean, he was just shocked that he was still there and, the whole and time. And yet so, so appreciative, you know, as were oh, you. Oh, absolutely. As absolutely. You. God bless God bless him. But he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd love to see. Actually, when he won that night, I think if you, if you could freeze everybody's faces, everybody was like. <laughs> and Sharna was. Did they read that right? <laughs> Wait, I mean, that's right. We were ready for runner-up, but I mean, did they read that right? <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. But I kept uh, okay. And then after the contemporary dance that you did for your mom, yes, your most memorable year. Yeah. I just wanted to hug you. Like I wanted to hug Alicia when the camera went to her. I was sitting there in the living room. Bawling, oh well, thank you. Going, oh my gosh, you know, I just it was. It was an emotional journey for, I think, your fans as well as you. And, but it was so great to see you so happy. And well, yeah, I had my smile. Yeah. And you know what was so amazing about that is they, we didn't see the little video. And we're not, we don't usually watch it because you're thinking about, okay, right. we hear these wood blocks and then we've got to dance. <laughs> But that night, because it was the, the emotional story, they required, because they had a camera on everybody, to watch the story. And that was very difficult. Yeah, and I, got I mean, just thinking I about mean. It. And oh. it's like, that's just cruelty. To cruelty. Well, it's great television, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Great, great, it great is. television. But I also think that was one of your best dances. I do, but. too. The judges didn't agree, though, somehow. I don't understand that. I but uh, I, I mean, the waltz was fantastic. I love the quick step, which is the thing that scared me the most. So that was going to be my, my next thing is, uh, what, what was your other, aside from the contemporary, what was your other favorite dance? The quick step. The, the, Absolutely. Yeah. And cause that was a favorite song of mine when I was a kid. Well, uh, that, King Louie, I want to be like you. I mean, see, my gosh. And I started to say, I'm going to ask him to like show me a couple moves. I'm not on the quick step because I, I don't want to. Oh, I, good. I got the whole day. I don't to know go. if I remember any of that. <laughs> oh. But uh, it was it was great fun. I'm <laughs> glad that I did call, it, and I got to sing my new single at the end of it, yeah, which was you great. Yeah, did. We need to call Emma and tell her that you forgot the quick step. She's out there touring. She doesn't. <laughs> she's worrying about her own steps now. <laughs> so a couple. Let me let me go over a couple of these things because they're. As, as much as we have talked before and as much as I have followed your career for a long time, um, I did, there were some things I didn't realize. Um, but in this year alone, with the whole Odyssey, oh, yeah. you have recorded, for the Odyssey, it was a 52-song project because you released one every, every week. Every Tuesday. And yep. then a video for yep. it. Yep, we did not. Well. We didn't release a video every week. We released, I think, thirty videos. So the uh, total of the total of songs you released in 2018 was 72. 72. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> it is pretty crazy. We did the Odyssey project. Uh, wanted to get back into country music in a big way, not just kind of sneak. So that's why we did the one song every Tuesday, and as many videos as we could do. The one, uh, the video we have out most recently is called. Uh, it's a song. It's called Devil in the Mirror. Yes. And we've got 
like 230,000 views of it, and that's pretty spectacular yeah. because it cross promotes not only the song, but also a movie that we did called Inadmissible. Right. So, so that's really cool. But after that, um, done a lot of concerts, and people were asking about I've Been Around Enough to Know and Short Walk from Heaven to Hell and all the, the greatest hits from the MCA right. days. So Alicia said, well, why don't we re-record those? Why don't we cut those again? Right. So we did, and we did it acoustically. So we have three, it's only three instruments and a background vocalist and me. And it's wonderful. You can really hear the lyrics. The, the, the stories live in these yeah. songs that way. Yeah. Um, and then if, if, as if that weren't enough, <laughs> we had two songs, because we're releasing every Tuesday, we had two songs that were Christmas songs on the Odyssey Project. So Alicia said, well, <laughs> we can't really just have two I songs mean, have that two. are Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do a Christmas album. So we did. And it's a combination of some great songs from my CBS days. So we have Katie's Christmas card and It's Christmas. And then some from the Odyssey. And then there are five songs that just blew me away. I did not even know that I could sing like this. It's, uh, we did a couple of B.B. King songs, a couple of Louis Armstrong yeah. songs. And it's wonderful. And it's called Merry Christmas, Baby. So it's really raspy, and, and I'll take you through the days. I did a concert on Friday. I did a car show on Saturday. I did a, car sh a concert on Saturday night. I flew to Los Angeles to rehearse for Dancing with the Stars. Did the rehearsal all day Monday. Did the, the final Dancing with the Stars, played Walk a Mile in My Shoes. Mm -hmm. Got on the red eye, flew to Nashville, oh slept for two hours, and then went in the studio and recorded the 10 Christmas songs. Wow. Yeah, that same day. So I'm like, I just don't know if I can, I don't know if I can sing because I can't talk. <laughs> and it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's so, I don't want to say rough. It just, it's got so much life in it. It's got so much road in it. Yeah. And uh, oh my, you got to hear it. It's it's wonderful, and it's not it it's not because I tried to do that. It's it because just happened. it just happened. <laughs> and I personally think that was uh, that was Alicia, uh, figuring that out. Larry Hall figuring that out. Uh, great producer on all the Odyssey stuff was Paul Lime. Just the greatest, the greatest folks. Well, and it does seem like. Also the greatest drummer who ever lived, by the way, Paul Lyme. Look him up. You'll go, oh, that Paul Lyme? That's what it says on his driver's license. Yeah, that Paul Lyme. It does seem like with you, I mean, you've, you've had a roller coaster going on. You oh, know? yeah. I mean, and, and. That's why I sing songs like Wounded. The support that you've gotten from the fans. It's been fantastic. From, I mean, people have been commenting and, and sending thoughts and prayers and and, and going to the, the store and going to the, uh, and going and yeah. shopping at the store the JSS that's right John Schneider studios.com or get my free app at the app store uh, yeah so I have your app and oh, it good. told me yesterday that you yesterday which was the 13th mm -hmm. I have a show on February 6th <laughs> it told you that yesterday yes. that you have a show on uh oh, we got to look into yeah, that. Because I missed the show. I'm, it was late. Uh oh. Yeah. But maybe it was my phone. Probably not. <laughs> Apps are tricky. There's a lot going yeah, on in they, there. They really are. Yeah. Um, did it tell you about Third and Lindsley last night? Played Third yes, and Lindsley last yes, night. It and were did. you there? No. No. You, it's okay. Do you know where I was? Here's the thing. No, because you don't have an app. If you did, I could stalk you. <laughs> I do have an app, <laughs> but I was I was at the Gar show. Okay. That's the only reason. All right. And then I had to be at the grassroots dinner. Ah, okay. All right, you're because forgiven. in fact, he said, what time does John play? And I said, it's 8 to 10, and we got to be at grassroots at 9. Yeah. Because I, I was like, I got to see, I got to see John. I got to right. see my buddy. Right, right, but, right. Because I was, you know, like I said, I was worried I wasn't going to get to see you. That I was thinking, oh, no, I got to see John. Because, I, I, you know, I really did want to... I can type something on Facebook. I can type something on Instagram. I can send Alicia an email. I really just kind of wanted to say to you personally how much how much I enjoy Dancing with the Stars, and I wanted to hear your take on it. And then, you know, I just, 
you have a way of expressing a whole lot more than I could ever tell somebody about <laughs> you, which is, uh, you know, I mean, that's just one of those. Well, we've had a, it's, it's been qualities. a rough, it's been a rough, go, it's been great. It's been, it's interesting. The, the pendulum doesn't stop in the middle and it doesn't really right. live on either side. It lives on both sides at the same time. Right. Which uh, the older I get, the more I realize, okay, it, it is the best life and the worst life, the best day and the worst day right. are always the same day. Not right. occasionally. They're always the same day. It's just how it is. And sometimes I, I see when, you know, when you'll see the, the headlines of, of something going on with you, it's like either, oh, my gosh, I'm so happy for him. Or, oh, my gosh. That's right. That's right. Usually one comes that, out in the morning yeah, and one comes and out that, in the afternoon. That night I'm like, no, that's, that, that's got to be wrong. What? And then, and then you'll post a video and you're very open and honest with people yeah. about what's going on, which, again, I think that people appreciate. But at the same time, I'm going, I mean, how much more can this man stand? Because even even with all of it, you smile. <laughs> yeah. You laugh. And you just have this, it's all going to be okay attitude. Which, it's going to be better than that. And You know? I mean, seriously. And then, yet, at Bo's Extravaganza, we're getting ready to talk about that. But last year, you're at the autograph booth. This is the funniest thing ever. You're at the autograph booth, and you have your nice drink. You're just your Coke. You know, uh -huh. your Coke sitting there, and a fan knocked it over. Right. And somebody offered to get you another one, and, and they said, John, what are you drinking? And you said, literally, nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> so now, <laughs> so, so every time something happens, the two of us, because we watched this happen, and I was like, that was like a three-year-old. I'm thinking, he, anytime this news comes out, he's going, nothing now. <laughs> nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. But you, I mean, you really wanted that Coke. <laughs> I did. I did. But I figured, you, you know, thirsty. it's not the smartest. At least it didn't spill over all the pictures. That is true. It didn't. See? You know, Look, there's, there's, the, the, there's, there's the silver the lining. Thing. So, Bo's Extravaganza last year was the first year, the yep. weekend of April 6th and 7th. Correct. This year it's 4th and 5th. 4th and 5th. So we're not I'm sorry, be... that's not right. 6th and 7th. So, okay. Last year it was 7th and 8th. This uh, year it's the, the seventh. my 7th and my birthday is the 8th. Uh, the 8th. Okay, so we won't actually see you on your birthday this year. But... No. Well, okay. Hopefully well... I'll be around because I'm jumping the car on Saturday the 6th. Okay, so what, are you doing a bigger jump? I'm doing it well, that, yes. I mean, I was I supposed mean, to not, do a big jump no, last year. No, and I'm, I'm glad you it, did the jump you did. I'm glad you didn't do the big jump because I told you then we wanted to see you. I wouldn't have got, been able to go fast enough. All right. That was, was, the, was the chore, yeah. But this year we're actually going to uh, pave a road or make a road or it, it's not going. <laughs> I didn't know it was going <laughs> to rain. I didn't know that was going to happen. So the road I was going to use to build up speed was just something we we cut with a with a cat or with a little bobcat the day yeah. before so it rained on that and it was uh, as Waylon would say it was slicker than a ball tire semi on a mile of wet <laughs> asphalt yeah i needed it to was. get 52 miles an hour it wasn't going to happen yeah it, it was slick out there i would have been short boom and landed and nosed right. into the side of, and that's bad yeah that's bad yeah. steering wheels are very unforgiving well we definitely wanted you heads. to to make it to 59 healthy and no broken bones and me too and, and all that me so too. i mean there was a spectacular great record breaking job. james did well he went for the record didn't break oh, it. oh he didn't okay. no nope, we're gonna go okay. for, he's gonna go for that again this year okay so well that was and, fun and we we learned how uh, nasty the mud can be out there <laughs> literally first trip. they got so stuck inaugural trip in our in our rv and pulled in on the wrong road and got stuck in the mud on bo duke's property that's right and i we remember like, i remember looking down the road thinking <laughs> who in the world okay do you hear this he was looking down the road and i'm thinking oh Bo Duke's going to come in the general lane, going to rescue us any day No, now. I couldn't, I couldn't even, like, okay, couldn't well, even take a golf cart down. You could get the tractor stuck. No, are you stuck. kidding me? Y'all got in there. Y'all got to figure it out. So then I'm like, okay, where's Cooter? He can come get us out here. I mean, we did have to call a, a, a wrecker. He came got us out. It was all fine. Probably we Ricky. Up, We're a small town. It so was, it was, uh, it yeah, was. Ricky came and got you yeah, out. Yeah, and he was great. But we, we ended up staying there the weekend on, on the back, uh, on in some grass. That nice grass. Yep. It was, yeah. <laughs> so come on out. It's it's going to be fun. We've got a lot of great music. Uh, we've got Joel Sonier. Yeah. We've got Keith Burns. So we're going to have Trick Pony action out there. Okay. Uh, and I, you, we can't talk about the the, the okay. closer. Okay. But this person and I are going to play uh, acoustic, which 
Um, I'm not even going to say he or she. This person has doesn't really do. No. So you don't have the opportunity to see this particular performer who sells yeah. out like 70,000 seats in seven minutes. Right. So this is pretty, this is pretty cool. That it, and they are doing it because they are a friend and saw all that press that you saw right. and want to help out. They want to help make Bo's Extravaganza a yeah. home run. Yeah. For and I think when Bo. you all, when you all find out who it is, you're not going to be surprised one that this person would want to do that. Correct. But um, two, you're you, if you don't have tickets to this, you are going <laughs> to wish you did. Yes, oh no, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I because, missed and it. And you never know what. I mean, Cowboy Church is on Sunday. Cowboy Church is on Sunday. Going to be great. Cody McCarver is going to be there, of course. I mean, it does gonna, a great, great job. All kinds and of food. We're talking to a bunch of. Oh, food is great. We have our carnival back. Our carnival folks are coming back, so we'll have the midway. Some of the cast uh, of the have and have nots. A bunch of the cast of the haves and have nots are coming, and we're going to have such a haves and have nots presence that we're talking about putting them in a condo set that we have so that people won't see them out of their element. Right. It's okay to see the Dukes of Hazard cast in a barn. Right. I don't think I don't think we should display the <laughs> cast of the haves and have nots, these I mean, mean, evil, Catherine, terrible, wonderful people. Catherine just doesn't uh, look the same yeah, when she's sitting yeah, in a she's barn. She's not gonna make it. She's Aww. gonna be in Jerusalem. Well but okay. <laughs> we have quite a number of the Harrington family okay. that are indeed going to make it. Okay. And well. uh, I think the baddest woman on television well, and you definitely can't there. see Veronica sitting in a barn somewhere. No. I mean. No. <laughs> and I tell you what, when uh, we did our first concert outside at the Octagon stage, long before Bo's Extravaganza, three people showed up to surprise Alicia and I to support that first concert. And it was Renee Lawless, who plays Catherine, my wife on the show. And it was Crystal Fox, who plays Hannah. <laughs> on the show, and it was Angela Robinson who plays Veronica, Aww. who showed up to sit out in a pew in the grass to support their buddy John. So we have a we have a wonderful bond on that show, very much like the bond of the Dukes of Hazard cast. Well, so, uh, but if you want to meet you want to meet <laughs> you want to meet the most dysfunctional family that's ever been, <laughs> other than my family on television. You got to come out and meet the Harringtons at Pose Extravaganza. Well, and it, it honestly is is like a, a a big family reunion sort of feel out there. Everybody's out there to just have a good time. And we tell the the celebrities that are coming in and say, "Look, this is you, you're not going to be sequestered away." But we also tell people, "Look, don't yeah, don't hound right. the you know yeah. the, the folks yeah. are folks." Right. And and there's nothing more that a multi platinum singer wants to do than just hang out and have a right, sandwich. Right, right. Don't ruin that. Right. Because if you just hang out and have a sandwich, you'll remember that the rest right. of your life. You'll, you'll, yeah. And so will they. And right. next time they see you, they'll be, hey, right. how are you? Right. Because that's what we live for. And see, Don't I screw to, it up by saying, oh, just one picture. I have to change my whole thing now. My, like, you have to think of me not as the people who got stuck at the... <laughs> So it's going to be hard. I know. I can well, see it right know, now. I don't know how we're going to top it, but we're going to have to figure out something else. You jump the, jump the RV. <laughs> she didn't That's know. our home. Oh, okay. All right. That's our home. Okay. Hey, look, he's saying. Oh, oh yeah, we got a thumbs either, up over there. He, that or he's, you know, there, it's the RV. There's always something going on. Oh, he wrong. said, you jump it, I'll film it. Okay. <laughs> I don't even drive the thing. I'm so happy we got to talk. I know Me we've too. kind of been all over the place, but I'm so happy for you. I know things have, have been going wishy-washy, but then it does always work out. And you were just, I, I don't, I don't, I can't even like put it into words that you're, you're an inspiration on how you handle things instead of just, well, thank you. Instead of thank just you. giving up, throwing your hands up and you, you have to handle it with such grace and humility and say you know what i'm human you're not absolutely I mean, you're, you're human and, and shit happens it does and but here's here's a, here's something to help everybody get through anything great success is guarded by great problems great success if you and if you feel you are on the right track and you are you are doing it you are living your dream and you are you are going to make it or you're you're uh, 
fingernail from making it and you have no problems, you're probably on the wrong road. Right, right. That's true. If you true. have the basketball and nobody is on your ass, <laughs> you're not a threat. <laughs> you're if you're lying. running toward the end zone as fast as you can <laughs> and nobody's on you, ain't nobody going to throw you the ball. That is true. That is true. Great success is guarded by great problems. Well, I'm glad we have that on tape so I can remember it because I think I'm probably going to put that on a plaque. And, and You should. And it's great. I mean, I think about it every day. Every day. When something bad happens to Alicia and I, I don't think, oh, I think we must be closer or this wouldn't be happening. Yeah, see? see Something amazing is coming right up. We're almost there. We're one exit away. Or this would not be happening. Right, right. I mean, okay, guys, look, I'm, I'm probably getting close to the end of my my taping session and my time with John and for now because I think we're going to come back down. Come on down, it yeah. Needs to kind of be Don't take that road. <laughs> we're not. We won't take that road. We'll come in the front this time. <laughs> Let me, here, here's another clue. If there's nobody at the gate, yeah. don't take that road. I mean, you would have thought that that would have clued us in right. Okay, Google, you need to figure out your mapping system. <laughs> but you all make sure, go go online, johnschneiderstudios.com. Yes. You're going to find all kinds of movies there that, that you, we didn't even talk about this, but, I mean, we could be here another hour. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He does all kinds of movies on there that he that he does right on the property. Um and they are quirky. I'll warn you, they are quirky because I'm I'm a, a little odd. He's odd in such the best way. Like if anybody had to be odd, you're the best kind of odd to be. <laughs> oh, thank you. But and thank I mean you. that with with so much love and and just he's great. I could sit here and gush over him all day and tell him how great he is and his head's gonna blow ah. up over here. But it's true. I, I'm I'm proud of you. As I mean, you are older than me. But <laughs> 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 but you, you, you definitely show up, show others how to how to handle stuff, and I, well, I'm so you. proud that that smile's still on your face. Oh, and that can't that ever get rid of it. Still sitting around the she's corner. She's right over so, there. Yeah, uh, she's you right all over there. make sure you check out everything, JohnSchneiderStudios.com, and buy, buy. There's so many cool things buy in there you music. can buy. Buy some music. Buy a T-shirt. Buy a movie. Buy yeah, all three. Buy a movie. Do it all. The Odyssey. I mean, you can't get much more than that. And your tickets to Bo's Extravaganza. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. And yeah, like don't she even said, know. when you find out who's going to be there on stage with me on Sunday, if you're not in the audience, you're going to say, I missed the chance of a lifetime. You know, they're going to say, Laura and John told us, and we didn't listen. Right? Could have had a V8. You're going to have jumped the car and hit the <laughs> steering wheel. Bye. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Bye, <Goodbye>. guys. <laughs> what a great way to end it.